swimming. <laughs> morning, everybody. Good morning. It's 48 degrees. It's not really that cold this morning, actually, but it's supposed to, um, it's supposed to really be cold this weekend when our friends are coming, so that'll be interesting. So this is kind of what we do in the morning. We get our coffee and um, even if I'm not working that day from home, I usually uh, wake up in the morning with Griff unless I'm like really tired. And we bring Coda and while he puts the boat in, I take Coda swimming. Um, so Coda gets really excited in the morning because he knows he's gonna go swimming. <laughs> Get your ball. Get it. <laughs> you want to tell them what you have to do in the morning? No suit up. Put my waders on, put the boat in, make sure there's air in it, make sure there's food in it, make sure there's flies, rods, reels, rain jackets. One more. Go get it. Why are you going over there? <laughs> I forgot to show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. Um, it's really, really simple because I just don't have a whole lot of time before um, Griff's mom gets here, but I just made a little sandwich with Asiago um, bread and I'm gonna get some chips. Yeah, I got, um, I've actually never had these before. I've had like the garlic ones, but the buffalo wing looked pretty good, so I'm gonna have that for lunch. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, cleaning up a little bit, and that's about it. Well, I just wanted to talk about something. Um, you know, people have been asking us um, if we feel, you know, super claustrophobic in here, or if we feel um, like we have cabin fever really bad because, you know, it's just like such a small space and, you know, or do you get any alone time? Things like that. And actually Griff and I were just talking about this, um, yesterday, but I think that we have way more alone time now just because, um, you know, one, we don't have like a ton of service out here. So, um, you know, like I can get service, but basically I only get service in the bathroom. You know, since we don't have a lot of service, I feel like we're more likely to go outside, go on a run. There's a gym here and literally nobody is ever in there. So we go to the gym a lot. Griff goes and rides his bike. And actually he just fixed my bike yesterday. Um, so I feel like we actually get better quality alone time um, and better quality time together too. I feel like, um, you know, I'm kind of like an anxious person. I, um, you know, struggle with anxiety really bad and I feel like this has actually helped. I felt a lot more anxious at my old house because even though it was 
only 1100 square feet I feel like I constantly was cleaning I'm having to always keep the uh, fridge filled and just like all of these things and I just feel like I spend so much less time focusing on um, what my house or whatever looks like to other people because it's such a small space that now um, I have the ability to quickly clean up or we do we quickly clean up and it's just you know it's such a small space so we don't have that much to clean um and that sounds silly but a lot of my anxiety comes out through um keeping things clean and being really organized and um so I feel like this has actually really helped um you know it's just it's kind of stressful like living in the city sometimes and where we were living we weren't able to like really go do anything we wanted to do um you know we would have to drive like 30 minutes away which now we do but it's like most of what we do is like right here you know we want to be on the water all the time and want to go play with coda and stuff like that so um anyway so that was just a little update on that Hi guys, so now I think it's almost nine, it's 8.50, yeah, so almost nine, and it is really cold, like it's supposed to be three degrees on Monday, um, so we're all bundled up, and we're going to go take Coda, yesterday it was raining all day, so um, we were kind of bundled up in the camper. I think it's going to be way too cold for him to swim in the river. I think it's like tomorrow is supposed to be 12 degrees. So in Texas, that's very, very cold. We actually heard that in Montana right now, it has a negative 39 wind chill. <laughs> so I guess we shouldn't complain too much. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. think it's been this cold in a long time. It said the um, record was two degrees in Canyon Lake and it's supposed to be three on three degrees on Monday. So we might hit record, we don't know. And it's supposed to snow, which if we get two snowfalls in Texas in one winter, I will be shocked. Like last time we had snow, I think was like five years ago. everybody um right now I'm doing laundry and we just found out that um the city is turning off our water for some reason which is a little bit stressful because we're supposed to have our friends Brooke and McKenzie come into town um so we're just filling up our water tank we should have plenty of water for literally like one night basically um but yeah they might turn off the water like tomorrow um, so Griff is figuring that out. I'm doing all the laundry and I have the whole laundry room to myself, which is nice. Um, I think cause it's so cold. Everybody's just staying in their campers. Um, so I'm going to get this laundry done and then 
Um, we'll probably go back to the camper and make some lunch. And yeah, that's about what we're doing now. You want to tell them what uh, that guy said from Minnesota? And he's from Michigan. Oh, Michigan, that's right. I walked outside and I was like, it's gonna be cold. And he was like, yeah, it's a bit balmy, eh? <laughs> I'm just making hummus over here with this stuff called za'atar. I don't know if anyone knows what it is. My mom uses it a lot in like Mediterranean dishes, but I'm putting it in some hummus. Do you think I need the windbreaker or the puffy? Um, I sweat. Like you sweating can always... would be bad. It's almost better to be a little cold. Yeah, because if you sweat, you're going to be wet mm -hmm. and freezing. Maybe just the windbreaker then? In the fleece, you think? The fleece and the windbreaker, that's almost the same as a puffy, I feel like. Should I just do the puffy? Just do the puffy, because it's warmth and it kind of is a windbreaker too. On the big fly. Dude. On the big fly. Let's go. Let's go. I can see the insides like that. No. Elephants eat peanuts. You can see it. And they eat other elephants. Yeah. Apparently. Because that's a big fly. Nice. What do you think about that, Brooke? Alrighty, so it is currently, let's check out the temperature, here in Central Texas, down on the Guadalupe River, it is 23 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is, oh, and it's actually snowing and icing, and we got 
messages from TxDOT telling us that the roads are closed. Um, so this is new for us and also it's new for us because we're in a camper and there's all these, uh, you know, things you gotta do when, when this kind of thing happens. And the RV park that we're in closes down, or I, I guess the city shuts off the water to them. I'm not sure exactly why they do that. I'm imagining that the infrastructure just would for you know they're worried about stuff freezing and breaking and yeah. all that so, so we're, we're in our camper here. eating pizzas for yeah, the we second just made... night in a row yeah actually we aren't using our fancy uni because it's outside in the cold and we actually tried to make one last night but we couldn't get it hot enough because with the so charcoals, cold. I guess it's just, yeah. I'm just. Well, and it was like frozen when we. <clears throat> yeah. Couldn't even get the pizza stone hot. <laughs> so we're in our camper. We watched a movie today. What movie did we watch? Um, Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving with. Um, I forgot her name. The, I think the girl from Juno, right? And then the blonde lady. She kind of looks like Kate Hudson, but she's not Kate Hudson. Pretty good cast. Pretty good cast. Yeah. So, we'll be watching another movie here shortly when the pizzas are ready. But until then, we'll see you on the, uh, the other side. The flip side. Good morning, everybody. Um, so we have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> we were kind of not being smart and thought that um, we didn't have to drip the water. I'm vlogging, I'm telling them our issue. You're telling them that I woke up and blamed you for it? Yeah, so. No, not really. Well, it wasn't, but, um. You know, let me be honest, you better fight. Anyway. You gonna fight on YouTube? Maybe we'll fight on YouTube. <laughs> I'm gonna fight with you right now. Um, anyway, so we kind of weren't the smartest and thought that it wouldn't get cold enough in the camper to freeze our water and now we have no water. So we're gonna run into town. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, we're not running. <laughs> Let's go on a run into town. You would. We go ride to the town. We're not riding bikes into town. Uh, to um, so it's like a snowy winter land outside and I'll show you guys in a second. The situation wouldn't have been as bad if we didn't even have running water from the city because the city turned off our water um on sunday or saturday so let's see how much water we have left yeah so it says empty right now yeah. but it's not it's just frozen so does that mean it's all frozen I mean, there was like two thirds of water left. Yeah, last night. Right now, we are um, at Bucky's. We just got um, big cups of coffee and some breakfast tacos and sandwiches. So, basically, our whole water tank is frozen and um, we drove into New Braunfels to go get some water and everything is um, shut down and there's no power. So the only things that are open right now are Walmart and Bucky's. So we came in, got breakfast and coffee. Um, we didn't even have enough water to make coffee this morning. So that was good. Um, <laughs> so we're just in the car with Coda. We didn't want to leave him in the camper just because 
you know, there was no water in there. And we're going to try to find somewhere to take him to go play. Uh, he absolutely loves the snow, so. But now he's just kind of pouting in the back. Um, we also need to go get some propane and we need to get gas for the car. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, it's like, it's crazy how much snow we've gotten this winter. Um, I don't think I've seen this much snow, probably since I was like little, like 10 years old. Um, so that's kind of where we're at today. And um, yeah, I'll show y'all what we do later. Nice, babe. All right, snow apocalypse update. 48 hours or so into her, and her sewer hose is leaking. So that means that there's pee pee water leaking out of it right now. They so just gross. duct taped it. Got a little bit on my hands. Ew! And yeah. And then possibly pour hot water down the drain. Possibly medium water down the drain. Not sure yet. I think we should do that. The hot water thing. I know, but maybe not hot water because you don't want to shock it, maybe. Yeah, but it needs to be hot enough to yeah, thaw maybe. everything. We'll talk about it. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Hey y'all, uh, just want to let you know that we do feel pretty corny doing this, so we do really appreciate everybody watching, and yeah, hope this is actually useful for some people and that y'all really like it, but if you don't, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, this was um, a really fun video, and I was going to put it up yesterday, but um, just with all the water tank situations and all of that it's running up late but um the bases are frozen <laughs> literally we just so. got done snowboarding behind the car yeah so that was really fun for Koda but anyway we just want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys soon see y'all <laughs>